Thank you, Caroline. And following today's school shooting, we're digging deeper into school safety plans currently in place here in Rhode Island. We're also learning more about some proposed legislation that would examine the safety of the sa safety of the state of schools. I would assume reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live in studio with more. Steve. Well, Mike, right now it's state law for every district to have school safety plans and assessments. The Speaker of the House has a new bill, though, that would call for those districts to turn them in to be reviewed. Video from above captures students running from school arms up as SWAT teams enter. This is from Parkland, Florida, but similar scenes have played out across the country. The last shooting in a Maryland school Tuesday morning. In Rhode Island, state law requires school districts have a safety assessment completed every three years. But the Speaker of the House, Nicholas Mattiello, pitched a new bill requiring districts turn in the complete assessment so a state team can review it. You want to make sure that they, in fact, have the plans and that they're ready should a, a dangerous situation present itself. The Rhode Island Department of Education says already 11 of the state's 36 districts voluntarily turn in their assessments. They would support the mandate. And Timothy Duffy with the Rhode Island Association of School Committees told me this should be pushed to the top of the list. We've covered steps districts have taken, like in Westerly Monday, where students are now required to swipe a student ID to enter the building. Just a few weeks ago, when Socket superintendent recommended a new plan for the high school. We are going to be conducting audits at all of our school's security audits. And the Providence superintendent told us in February, the police department is reviewing each school safety plan. And when you look at these tragic situations that have happened nationally, you see that prevention could have been a key. Mattiello says his bill will allow state leaders to track those changes. That we're going to make sure that they do, and we're going to make sure that they're filed so that we're all on the same page. and. Uh, our students are as protected as possible. The Rhode Island Department of Education told me every district in the state is up to date on having safety plans and assessments. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.